the meta level of cybernetic control systems. We are all familiar with the basic control process. We do something, we act, we see how it turned out, sense, make sense of it. We compare the results to what we wanted, evaluating. We choose another action to bring it closer to our goal. We choose, and then we do something else. We act. These four processes, act, sense, evaluate, choose, form a loop. Any control process consists of going around this basic control loop. Each of the individual processes around the control loop is an information process. An information process consists of translating one form of information into another form of information. We can use the box as a symbol of the translation process and the arrow as a symbol of the information. Information is a decision and therefore can function as a command. The translation processes are commands about how to process information. They are the meta level of the decision process. The translation processes constitute the decisions that control the decision process. In other words, programs. Sensing consists of the changes being translated by our models into perceptions. Evaluating consists of our perceptions being translated by our values into needs. Choosing consists of our needs being translated by our options into action. Acting consists of our action being translated by the environment into results or changes. This requires a gestalt shift. We tend to see the action as a matter-energy process, but to complete the cybernetic loop we have to see it as a message. We often speak of our actions as sending a message. This is not a metaphor. The action is literally a message, and the environment is a formal system that translates that message into changes, which are also information, that our sensing can translate into perceptions. The cybernetic loop is an information loop. The decisions that control decisions the action-reflection model is a meta-level cybernetics that makes decisions about models. There are a number of descriptions of the action-reflection cycle, but any decision process consists of going around this basic control loop. The scientific method. The action-reflection model is an application of the scientific method. Define an hypothesis, design an experiment, perform the experiment, interpret the experimental results, evaluate the results to produce a decision about the hypothesis, a conclusion. The term cybernetics comes from the Greek word kyberneo, which means to steer, to guide, or to govern. In plain English, it is the theory of control. We can use the governor as an example of the cybernetic process. So let's look at the governor. There is a boiler that produces steam, a valve that lets it into the steam engine, that turns it into drive speed that powers a load. The gear connects the governor to the drive shaft. The spindle causes the fly balls to move up and down, which causes the sleeve to move up and down, which causes the lever to adjust the valve to be more open or more closed. Thus, we can diagram the process in terms of the four mechanisms, the gear, the fly balls, the sleeve, and the valve. Looked at as a cybernetic process, 
the governor needs to sense what is going on. So the gear translates the changes in drive speed into changes in spindle speed. At the meta level, this is a process of modeling. In this case, the spindle is a scale model of the drive shaft. The governor then needs to evaluate what is going on. The fly balls translate the change in spin into changes in the position of the sleeve. If the spindle goes fast, the sleeve goes up, and if the spindle goes slower, the sleeve goes down. The governor then needs to choose from the available options. With the lever, there are two options called negative and positive feedback. Positive feedback is when the lever translates a rise in the sleeve into an increase in the valve opening. Negative feedback is when the lever translates the rise in the sleeve into a decrease in the valve opening. The governor is a homeostatic system. Its goal is to maintain the drive speed at a constant level, thus negative feedback. Finally, the action to cause change in the environment. The steam engine is the environment. The valve opening controls the flow of steam to the steam engine and thus controls the change in the speed of the drive shaft, which is where we began, thus a cybernetic loop. Now for Gestalt number two. Looking at the governor as a matter and energy process, the energy process is an equation one kind of energy equals another kind of energy. Thus the drive energy equals the spindle energy equals the movement of the sleeve equals the movement of the valve. But there is no equation of the final action of the governor. The valve operates at the meta or control level to change the form of the steam engine. The information process controls the form of the valve, which controls the flow of material. Form controls matter and energy. When you put them together, you get our two process model. The matter and energy process of the material and efficient cause are the media for the formal and final causes, the information and communication. There is one small adjustment to the Aristotelian terms. The final cause or purpose of the process is found in the core values of the cybernetic process. My cybernetic model is a general model of control that applies to machines, individuals, and groups. To sum up, we were all taught the mechanistic understanding of change, that everything remains the same until it is forced to change. What we learn from the study of change is that communication makes things happen. Our behavior is controlled by our decisions, and our decisions are controlled by our ideas and our ideas are the result of communication. You cannot force someone to change their mind. Power is the ability to make a decision, and we all have that power. But we can communicate with people. We can share. Love makes change happen.